Peaks. It's your girl, Queen L. Eats. And this is really yeah. And today we're eating chicken out chicken and Alfredo noodles with broccoli. And we have an apple turnover. Apple turnover. All right, let's say a prayer and get it in because I'm hungry. Heavenly Father, bless over this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Let it give us health, strength, and knowledge in everything you would have of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? We hope good. You see how she's trying to copy me out. Y'all? We feeling good today? Here you go. Some broccoli and Alfredo noodle. But I want to tell y'all about my hair journey. My pole had them been through it. Let's see. About two years ago? About, not of a whole two years, but about two years ago, I, I shaved all my hair off. I shaved my hair bald to the point to where it was like my shoulder bald. I shaved it all off. I didn't realize I was pregnant with AJ. I just knew I had an urge to cut my hair off. I don't know why. I just did it. But when people ask me my reasoning, I was like, because I really want to just start over natural. And that's what I've done. But, yeah, I love hair. I love weave. I love wigs. So, it's different. You bought a lot of wigs during that time. And I'm like made a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, why don't you just wear your own hair? I'm like, I'm not ready to wear this bald head nowhere. I was like, if you don't slick that back and throw a ponytail back there. <laughs> you saw that's before, that's um after I grew some though, right? Yeah. Like after you grew like a little like an inch. She wanted me to just put some wave grease on and lay it back down. <laughs> I'm glad I did it though. I am. At first, I just felt, I felt so insecure about it. So I made me wigs. I actually made wigs. You made other people wigs? Mm-hmm. I cut her hair too. Because we had, we had damage to our hair. Like perms, flat irons. We had a lot of damage done to our hair. To where we needed to start over. Like I said, I don't I never in my life just excuse me, just wanted to just cut my hair off. Because I love hair so much. You like being able to just okay, I don't want to wear this wig and this extension so I can just throw my hair. Into a party cell, keep going. Yeah. So I um once my hair got long enough to put crochets in there, you did. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Crochet city. I like crochets now. Like I'm just not really wearing my natural hair. Yeah, that's true. On these, you know. Past few weeks, I've been wearing my natural hair because it's been so hot, y'all. It has been so hot. And that synthetic been itching me. You know, the synthetic weave and stuff. And then you had went and got those, like, small braids. Mm-hmm. You had those for a while. Yeah. When you got the micro braids. I thought she was going to pull my brains out. I mean, she had to have some good grip because 
You ain't have a long, like you ain't have long hair at the time. When I went and got the braids, I had about this much of hair. So she was, I said, oh my gosh, it feel like my scalp gonna bleed. But she got it. Did you do that? What? Like, you ain't able to work with hair like that long. Probably so. I can braid too now, y'all. But she say I braid too tight. Mm, it depends on the style. Depending on style. I like her natural hair. Do you like your natural hair? I mean... Sometimes. I've been trying to wear mine, like I said, y'all. Instead of putting out a weave in it so that she can appreciate hers. So I can be an example for her. Oh, that's why you've been doing it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's hot. <laughs> So it being hot outside help and so that you can feel better about wearing yours. Because I feel like if I continue to wear weave and never embrace my own hair, you're going to feel the same way. Or your sister's going to feel the same way. You have to feel like you got to have weave in order, to be, in order to look pretty. I mean... And that's not what I want. I know I don't have to have weave, but... I just like it anyway. Me too. <laughs> like, we've already had conversations about this. Like when I get older, what I'm going to do and how I want to like, you know, get me some wigs and stuff. Yeah, she want wig with baby hair. I want, I want different kinds of wig. I want to be like versatile. Like, don't be surprised if one day I just come to the family get together and I got me a red wig <laughs> or a blue wig. Because honestly, that's something I would do. Just like get a really bright neon color. Just go. And don't even care. Okay. Because I mean, I mean, that's the style now. I feel like if it looks good, I wear it. This is tough. What music do you like? She's 15, so I'm trying to ask her, what kind of music do you like? And I'll tell you what I used to listen to. I mean, mm, I could be everything, honestly. Okay. Like sometimes you catch me in a car listening to country. I do. I be vibing. So I I pretty much vibe to anything, honestly. Like I just I feel like I'm very versatile in my music. Like I like I can listen to anything. Just like you throw a country on that, okay, I'm gonna bop my head, you know. And I'm gonna listen to him, talk about whatever he's talking about. And I'll just enjoy it. Huh? Or you could play some rap and I just, I might like the beat. Huh? So I feel like, but if I had to choose one particular genre, honestly, I would probably say, I would probably say like either hip hop. And it's old school. Is old school a genre? You just say old school. Old school, yeah. Okay. Well, what do you like? When I was your age, I liked Lil John and the East Side Boys. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, that kind of stuff. I like Lil John and the East Side Boys. I like Outcast. So you like loud music? Yes. I feel like when I listen to my music, you can hear it. It be loud. Like, 
I'll be in the car with you. Just blast them. And you, you, you can hear my music when I'm playing it. Get them headphones on. I love Usher. You do. You like Shawn Mendes? I was grown <laughs> when his song came out. Um. Well, what tank? Yeah. But I was grown when he came out too. <laughs> now it's your age. I'm trying to think. Like I said, Lil Jon and Eastside Boys is out. Um, Master P. Um, Mystical. I'm trying to think who else. A lot of people. I loved it. I love music. I not dusted it. I'm ready for my dessert. <sighs> Check it out. Apple turnover. I'm looking for the apple filling so I can show y'all. This is by Pillsbury. I eat both at the same time. Mm -hmm. like, I eat the food and then I eat like this is good. Yeah. This is the Pillsbury apple turnovers. The one me and Tweez was talking about. The one that you put the stuff in and roll it together. It's good. This croissant is really good with that. It is. I not does. I'm good to go now. I feel like I ate it, but I didn't eat the broccoli. Like I ate everything but broccoli and like some skin on the chicken. So you don't really like broccoli? I like broccoli. I just don't like just broccoli. I like, like broccoli and cheese or like broccoli and butter, like steamed broccoli butter. Mm-hmm. But like it's broccoli, like dry, straight broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand. Well, this was more of a laid back mukbang. It this was. was this was very laid back. Y'all, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload my newest video. video. Peace out.